So as expected, there's a ban on spectators at the Olympics. Is this a total ban? Will we see sort of prefectures where uh, the cases have been low may allow some spectators? How, how does this affect the Games? So this no spectators decision was taken in response to the central government's declaration of a state of emergency for Tokyo. And most of the events, the vast majority, will be occurring in the city and in, in the three neighboring prefectures of Saitama, Chiba and Kanagawa. And all of those events will be spectator free. We do have that marathon up in Hokkaido and a couple of other events here and there. But the biggies, the big draws are all in Tokyo and they will be free of spectators. We should note, though, that this state of emergency won't change the experience that the athletes and other participants have. There were already measures in place for them to keep them as separate from the general population as possible and to test them regularly. So their experience should be much the same. The idea is to keep the people of Tokyo off the streets and, and away from those venues where they could turn into a potential spreading risk. So, so for how does uh, Japan's vaccination rollout play into this? It's important to note that Japan did have a slow start in this and it did speed up rapidly just in the past couple of weeks. We're now looking at Japan having administered around 56 million doses of either Pfizer or Moderna vaccine. That's enough to cover about 21% of its population. Now, the government never tied the vaccine timeline in with the timeline of the Olympics. So the strategy for the Olympics has always to been, been to try to keep those groups separate so that even if the vaccination rollout hasn't proceeded very far, still they strike a balance between keeping the game safe and making them enjoyable.